What's up everybody, this is Joshua Casper and welcome to another Ableton Live video tutorial. Today we're gonna to learn how to take away the breath sound of some dialogue. And this will also be applicable to say a vocal take where you don't necessarily want the <gasps> from the vocal. Sometimes that really adds character to it and a lot of liveliness, but sometimes you don't want it. Anyway, I've got some dialogue here from one of my earlier tutorials for Ask Audio and I wanted to get rid of my heavy breathing sounds essentially. And I was like, how can I do that and automate that process so I don't have to go through and literally find every place I take a breath and you know delete it or do some automation of the volume or something like that. So anyway, this is what I have right here and this part right here is the problem part, so to speak. If you follow it along on the blog. Um, so you can hear I'm taking a breath and it's kind of it's kind of distracting, at least for me. I don't know if a, a regular listener hears it or pays attention to it, but for me, I hear it and I don't like it. So if you follow it along on the blog, um, it's too much. And the way to do that is to use the gate. So I'm going to put the gate on here. And what I'm going to do is play with the threshold and maybe the floor so that it does not allow this level of audio to pass through the gate, but still will allow, say, the S syllable and this small part of the audio right here uh, to pass through. So there's going to be some fine tuning involved, but it's pretty easy. So what I'm going to do is just kind of let this play and pull down the threshold until I can hear the dialogue, but not hear the breath. Encountering this video on, if you follow it along on the blog. Um, if you're just encountering this video on, if you follow it along on the blog. Um, if you're just encountering. So here we're pretty close encountering this, but there's some choppiness happening over here um, around the encountering part. Um, if you're just encountering. This. So what I want to do is just pull it down a little bit more. Maybe at around 33.6 and see how that sounds. If you follow it along on the blog, um, if you're just encountering this video on. So that's that. Um, another thing I can do is pull up the release time, which will kind of help smooth this part out over here. If you're just encountering this video, maybe the attack time so I don't have any clipping. If you follow it along on the blog, um, if you're just encountering this video. So the next thing I can do is adjust the floor. And what I'm going to do is bring up the floor. And what that does is it, it, it accounts for how much attenuation is going to happen when something isn't passing through the gate. So example, for example, if I turn it all the way down, it's going to be cut out 100%. And if I turn it up, it's really not going to do too much. In the blog, um, if you're just in the blog. So as you can hear, I still hear my breath, even though the breath isn't passing the threshold. So that's just something to think about. But what I'm going to do is use it to allow some of this to come through while still cutting the breath, which is a lot uh, quieter. Blog. Um, if you're just encountering this video on. Um, if you're just encountering. Um, if you're just encountering this video. So I think I, if I pull it down just a little bit more. Um, if you're just encountering this video on, if you follow it along on the blog, um, if you're just encountering this video on. So there you go. Uh, I think that sounds really good. And not only that, but now that I have that set up and most of my dialogue has been evened out either by a plugin or just my really smooth talking ability, all of those breaths are going to be taken out. So if we come over here, designing your very own amplifier. So this is what it looks like. Um, I've got my so as you can hear um, some of these clicks from the chair on the noisy chair I'm sitting in are still coming through and you might need to go through and clean those up in a, a later in the process But for as far as the breaths are concerned They're all going to be chopped out and even some maybe some background noise if there is any So that's just a really cool simple way to cut out the breaths of your vocal takes. Anyway, I hope you learned something We'll see you next time. Peace